I'll tell you a story. A friend, a friend of mine, his sister in their church, they were watching as Teresa was saying, the God Channel, and they were watching a meeting in Lakeland, Florida. She's nine years of age, right? A young girl at nine years of age. And when her mum and dad put it on, she went, oh, I didn't want to watch that. I wanted to watch the kids' program or something, right? Or something else. <coughs> anyway, she sat down to watch it. And these were the words of my friend, right? She said to her mum and dad, can we see the angels? Right. And they couldn't. And she said, there's angels were over the place, look. On the screen, she said, "Look," she said, every, every, "every time they do a sign, a few seconds after, the people do it." And she would tell the mum and dad what the angels were doing, and then the mum and dad could see that the people were doing the same, same thing a few seconds later. Nine years of age. Wow, that incredible! Isn't that amazing? She then said, "The angel said this this word to her, gave a few words to say to her parents." Now, in the Dad's church, they were going through a, sit a situation. There was no way the daughter knew what they were going through. And the daughter spoke into that sit situation, sitting on a chair. Do you think of Incredible, isn't it? Wow. The mouth of God. Isn't that amazing? Incredible. It's the presence of God that does that. When God's presence comes there, that's what happens. The supernatural, that's what happens. Isn't that an amazing story? We heard last night, we're going to have the DVD for the Wednesday, you know, for the Wednesday night. I'm going to get all the DVDs at a conference and have a Wednesday night for so many weeks, okay? So those who don't go, go across and cut everything here into a watch, okay? Now, Dave, Camp Dave Campbell was sharing last, last week that he went to the great city of Birmingham and um, he said they were going on the streets and he didn't want to go and they called it a treasure hunt, didn't they? That, that, and, uh, I'm going to explain it. You can put that to the room. Can I explain it? Go on, you explain it, Rob. Change, change your voice sometimes. Oh, well, it was um, Virtual Church in Birmingham and they went for an hour or so in God's presence, not not yes. not yes. not, yes. not, yes. not, yes. not yes. right. Yes. Yes. In God's presence for an hour, and then after the hour, they all got together, and they had to write down. They could have been a treasure hunt, but they had to write down a person's name, what they were wearing, um, where they were going to be, and what there was, what, was, what problem there was that needed praying for. And it could be. So he thought it was a bit weird, but he thought, well, anyway, went along with it. So he'd written down the name that came to mind was Jade, with long brown hair, with a black jacket outside the shop, in the shopping street or whatever. When they'd done this, then they had to meet up with somebody else who'd been as part of this sewing session, who got something similar to them. And he it was a lady had something similar to him, but she'd actually got outside Marks and Spencer's. So then what they had to do, they went to their little teams and they drove into the city centre of Birmingham and went to Marks and Spencer. They'd kind of been apprehensive about this when they'd done it and the club was like. So they're looking outside Marks and Spencer and there's a bench out there and there was a little girl sitting on there with their mum. And the little girl, she's a kind of Afro-Caribbean girl with long brown hair and a black jacket, about eight years old. She thought, oh, this looks like it might be for a So they went up to it and said, we don't mind, but we're doing a treasure hunt. And one of the clues is that a girl called Jade, and the woman said, wow, she said, that's my daughter's name, she's Jade. And he said, well, God's told us to come and tell you that he loves you, but he wants us to pray about our family situation, has anything happened? And the mum said that her partner had just broken up, and she was really devastated. And they were sitting there, just saying to God, God, can you help us, can you do oh, something for us? Wow. And they just prayed into that situation, so they prayed for them. They led them to the Lord, and then they <coughs> The mum and the daughter were saying, well, we can't get to church because we haven't got a car. And anyway, when they found out that the dress, the dress was in the same road as the church. <laughs> so again, how fantastic is that? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <You've> got <them>. <laughs> 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 
And things like this are happening now right across the UK. We live in great days, you know, the London Verge of Revival. We, we, we get to see it. We get to see Revival. Where men and women and young kids are so sold out for God. Revival comes, you know. Revival comes. Then I bet you can definitely get to see this in the You see, what a fantastic story. You will be doing it. Here, doing what the father, the father signs, here what he signs, and step out in the fight and green wind. One of those gifts to bring us closer to him is the ability to pray tongues. Because he knows we need this gift to train our hearts, to train our minds, and our bodies to perceive and agree with what he's doing. Does that make sense? This, in, this intimacy of prayer and listening to his voice is the true source of our strength and life in him. <coughs> and that's the interesting that some of you in the in the presence of angels. Just want us to just open our hearts to God and just, just have that intimacy with him. And I believe the presence of God will come down. And if you need prayer for people this morning, okay guys? And if you need prayer this morning for healing, you know, unless you to come to the front, so we believe God just wants to heal today. We believe living days where God wants to put people heal. I know the Lakeland thing that was saying this week, there's been 15,000 reports of healing so far. 15,000. And 14 people raised from the dead. 15 is it now? 15 people raised from the dead. Raised from the dead? Whoa. 15 raised from the dead? Yeah, wow. Did you hear that? That a girl who had been raised from the dead was on the platform with the doctor to say she'd been raised from the dead? Wow, isn't that amazing? Oh. Isn't it hard for our minds to believe? Does anybody think that's hard to believe this morning? Yeah. Yeah, be honest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, be honest. The doctor, 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 the and this doctor was going Got around all the water he's wasn't he, to cry for the dead. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? Wow. <laughs> Amazing days we live in this sort of stand. Thanks, guys. Mm.